Okay. So today we'll look at laws of logarithms and exponentials. The first one is that uh, the first one is that a to the power m plus n is the same as a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n. The second one is that um, a b to the power m is the same as a m multiplied by b m. The third one. is that a to the power zero is equal to one. The fourth one the fourth one is that a plus b to the power m is not equal to a m plus b m so i've put this one derivative because i've seen most of my good friends in this group have that thing in mind um, reminding that it's not true and then a over b to the power m is the same as a m over b m. Exactly the same. And so, uh, so these were exponential rules. I now talk about logarithmic rules one now be careful here log e a is the same as lean a two log 10 a is the same as log 10. 3 log a b to the power x is the same as x log a b. This means that you can drop the power Four log a b plus log a c is the same as log a b c. Five log a b minus log a c is the same as log a b over c six 
change of base formula. Log A X, we change it to log B, it will be log B X over log B A. Like this. And then. So I can't get what you're saying. Okay, who, who, who else can't get what I'm saying? Okay, who can get me? I can get you, sir. Okay, so it could be that take the other end. I can get you, too. So you try to log out and log back. So this is very, very important, this one. It's change of base formula. Seven, log A zero is undefined. Eight, log A, negative x is undefined for all x greater or equal to zero. Nine, log a1 is equal to zero because log a d is equal to y is the same as y. I mean, is the same as what do we say that d is the same as a to the power y is equal to b. This is the relationship that relates log to exponential functions. Property number 10. I emphasize if you have log any base y is equal to x, it is the same as having y is equal to a to the power x. Exactly the same. So on the tenth one, is that B minus Y on the tenth on the tenth law? As B is equal to Y. We have an equal to sign here. Do we have any any question? Am I not yet allowed to be asked? Let's look at questions now that are surrounding these properties. Then I'll bring some more properties in the survey. Examples. One. Uh, 
one change the base to to base three. So I remembered another one. Eleven log a a is equal to one. Log a a is equal to one. So that when you change the base to base three of a log four three b log five nine and c log x and seven and d log 81 x solution we are changing the base from these bases to base three so for a we first remind ourselves that change of base formula if i'm moving from this to base b it will be log b of x over log b of a. So for a, we have log 4, 3. This is going to be log 3, 3 divided by log 3, 4. But the last property, property 11, gives us this relationship here that log a a is equal to one so we have log three three to be one over log three four and for b log log five nine is the same as log three nine over log three five. But this is the same as log three nine is the same as three squared over log three five. Bring down two. And then we'll have log three, three over log three, five, giving us two over log three, five. Like that. Um, so I kind of explained the first one. It was stupid. So the crucial thing is remembering the change of base formula. So if I'm moving from A to base B, I'll have B as a base for both the numerator and the denominator. And then this inside takes the numerator part, this takes the denominator part. So we're moving from base four to base three. So four goes in the denominator, three goes in the numerator. But we have a property which says that if you have log A and there's A here, what you get is one. So when I have log three and three here, we'll get one over log three, four. So when you extend it to B, we have log five, nine, which will be log three, nine over log three, five, giving us log three, three squared over log three, five. Then drop two, so you have two log three, three over log three, five. Now log three, three, 
is one. So we just get two over log three, five. We go to sir, see. Sir, uh, so for this one, uh, one over log three, four. The log four cannot be, cannot, cannot be cut, cannot be, what am I saying? Written be, as two to the power two. Yes. Even if we do that, nothing will change because this base is different from two. <coughs> so we only prefer changing here because we knew once we remain with three, log three, three is going to be one. As in by putting log two to three, it's going to count, so then we mean it one over log three. Is what mm -hmm. I mean? It's not, it's not going to cancel because you're going to have one over log three, two squared, which is going to be one over two log three, two. But three and two cannot cancel. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So we only get to simplify it if we are seeing a possibility of cancelling. For C, we have log 3.7 over log 3x, meaning then 27 can be written as three to the power three over a log three x. So drop the three and then log three, three is going to be one. So remain with, uh, with this. <coughs> Excuse. And then for D, we we'll have log 3x over log 3. Three to the power four. Eight one is the same as to the power four over four. Loss log three three is going to be one. So four examples on one concept are very enough. Very, very enough. Changing base should never be a challenge. Now we are going to have changing of base so many times in this course. In several questions, no one is going to tell you that change the best. You will see the need yourself. Say, now I need to change the best. And when you see such a need, this is how you change the best. So that we move to question two. Uh, before, sorry, before you can move to question two. We can now move. <coughs> okay. Since they haven't allowed me, I will go back if you ask. Question two. 
so the following hello yes for the previous two questions the last two questions i didn't get uh, the difference between the two questions didn't why weren't they asked in the same way but you solved them differently we solved them the same way We are changing from any base given to base three. And so we had log X 27 is equal to, is equal to, we are changing now as we bring the question here. For this first two, we first copied the question. Now here, we didn't copy the question. We just went straight to the solution because of the space. So we said log X 27, Changing it to base three is going to be log three, 27, over log three, x. Then we have log three, 27 is three to the power three, over log three, x. Then we drop three, we have three, log three, three. So we have three over, log 3x. And then log 81x is log 3, 3. I mean, it's log 3x over log 3, 81. Except that 81 can be written as 3 to the power 4. So when we drop the power 4, log 3, 3 is going to be 1. And that's why we have 4 in the geomet. Okay. A log X. Sir, Hello. am I the only one that can see your screen? Anyone yes, to answer? Anyone. Who else can't see? I think yeah, it's the uh, network at the end. Try, try to check your network. Okay. <clears throat> so that try is not for me. So want to solve this equation, log x. Log x3 is equal to one. We are solving for, we are solving for X. We are solving for X. So what would be the solution? Remember this came as a property where we said X to the power one is equal to three, implying that x is equal to three. That's all. B, log two, four, I uh, know log two x log two x plus log x two is equal to one. Solve for x. We can see that we have two pieces here being added, but have different base. <clears throat> and there's no property that combines different bases. So the first thing we do here is 
we first change the base for the variable. We write it as base two, two over Okay, so we have log 2x plus log 2, 2 over log 2x is equal to 1. Implying that if you cross multiply, we'll have log 2x squared plus 1 is equal to log 2x. So multiplied throughout by log x, I mean by log 2x. Since you're looking for x. Excuse me, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, where is base 2 coming from? So because we have base 2 here, and this is base x, and the question solve is looking for the variable. So we alter the log x2. We change the base so that we have similar bases and then begin to solve for x. That's why I said no question may ask you to change the base. You will see the need yourself. Sir. Hello. OK, thank you. How did you get? The, the last equation, I don't understand. So the last equation we are multiplying throughout by log 2x. Oh, oh so that they cancel. <clears throat> so that they cancel the one that is in the terminal. Okay, okay. Keeping in mind that log 2, 2 is equal to 1. So at this point, we can choose to let P take up the position of log 2x so that we deal with P squared minus P plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic. <coughs> So quadratic, so we can use the formula. So say P is equal to negative, negative one plus or minus the square root of one minus four over negative two. So this will be P is equal to one plus or minus root neck three over negative two. So at this point, um, we go back to what our P is. Remember we said P is log two X, which is equal to one plus or minus root negative three over negative two. So this implies that using the property that we used here, we lift two to the power one plus or minus root negative three over negative two to be equal to X. Excuse me, sir. Hello. But how come we have a negative in the square root there, negative 3 in the square root? How possible is that? No, we've just left it as negative 3 in the square root without saying anything. Sir, mm -hmm. where are these numbers coming from? So I don't understand the last one, part. Negative Three, where are these numbers coming from? 
Okay, let me give you a nice example. This example is because of the root that has come in. So there's the confusion. So you hold your thoughts. We'll do another one. Um, which one do we do? But are we going to get back to this one? Well, forget about this one then. I'll do something nice that will help you understand. This one. Now, what I'm saying is that assume that this question has not appeared. What if it appears in the exam? No, it won't. <laughs> now, my point is that the one I'm going to bring now, when I explain it, it will help us to easily understand what has happened here, where we have no perfect uh, values. So we're not ignoring this one. We'll get back to it after we've done a smooth a question. So I just put it through here. Okay. So this was B. We do C log three x plus log x three is equal to two. So let's pay attention now. So because we have base three, we also have base x. When the question says solve for this, solve this equation, you are being asked to find the values of the variable. So I want to find the values of the variable. So what do we do? We switch, we make these bases be the same so that we are able to move. So we choose to bring in base three here, which is here. So we have log, 3x plus log 3, 3 over log 3x is equal to 2. And then we have x down, the other x is there. The only way we can get this x is when we put these things together. So we multiply throughout by log 3x, implying that log 3x multiplied by log 3x for the first one, this part multiplied by that part, we'll get log 3x squared plus log 3, 3 is 1, 1 over this part we're multiplying by that one it means that this will cancel by the one on the right for the middle part is equal to 2 multiplied by log 3x we have 2 log 3x so we have multiplied we no longer have anything in the denominator now we're looking for x now we have x here we also have yeah. x this side. Hello. Now, there where you put the one there. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to put that log which is on top? There's a log which is down. Yeah, it has cancelled with the one which you are multiplying that one. Okay. So I realize that you joined in late. So we have log A, A, is the same as one. This means that if we have this base here, B equal to the thing that is there, what we get is one. 
So in our case, we have log three, three. So the whole log becomes one. So now I'm saying, because we have X here and X here, we need to put these together for us to be able to find the X. So we take this the other side, we'll have log three X squared minus two log three X plus one is equal to zero. Now this looks like a quadratic if we let a variable p to be equal to log 3x, because we have log 3x here, we also have log 3x here. So we let p to take up the position of log 3x. We are going to have, where there's log 3x, we put p. So we'll have p squared minus 2 log 3x, we put p plus one is equal to zero. We have not changed anything. We just realized since it's a square and the other one is not squared, this is a quadratic. As we can see, it's a quadratic with factors one, I mean negative one and negative one. So solve by p squared minus one P minus P plus one is equal to zero. Fact out P, we get P minus one. Minus one, we get P minus one is equal to zero. So we'll have P minus one multiplied by P minus one is equal to zero. So P is equal to one or P is equal to one. So we have the same value of P. But what is P? P is initially log 3x. This is equal to P, but P is 1. Remember that uh, this property here, the one which allowed us to shift the x to the power 1 is equal to 3, is the one that we're going to use here. So we are saying x will be the same as 3 to the power 1. So x is equal to 3. We have found the value of x. Is it OK? Questions? Okay, let's go back Sir. to example. Hello? Sir, uh, when, so does it mean that whenever we come across log 3x is equal to 1, we should always know that the value of x is always 3? Is it a rule that we should always move with or we just apply it when we come across it? So the rule is this one. You can move from logs to exponential, if the log is given in this form, it's the exponential form is y is equal to this base b to the power x. So this is a rule that relates logs to exponentials. All right, sir. Okay. Sir, Hello. so what of the two log three x? Two log three x. This two log three x, mm -hmm. we brought it the other side, is it? And the log three x, yes. the log three x became p. So we substituted p here. We substituted p here. That's where we have this equation. From here, 
we have this equation here. So everything else is there. We have the two, the log three x is represented by, by P. So when we find the value of P, we have found the value of log three x. I don't know if you understand. So, so even when we use the quadratic formula, we can find the value to be one. In fact, yes. The value for P. You can find it to be one. So for the previous one, for the log. All right, for the log two. It's just to leave it inside from one plus root of negative three over two. This is like this is because we don't know what root of negative three is. If we knew, we would have evaluated and then gotten the two to the power of that number. Oh, so right. isn't that undefined? Yeah, it is because of the negative. You know, it's not necessarily undefined. We know we have complex numbers where this can be defined. As I have left it like that. So what I'm teaching you here is that if questions come in this way, don't put up statements like wrong question and defined. You don't know the set you're dealing with. So if it comes in this form, of course, the examiner would have made a mistake because this question should come out in the manner this one came out. So in case when, when, when calculating, they thought that they have typed a normal question when it actually comes out like this. Yours as a student is to follow the procedure and leave it here. When they realize that in the marking key, there's an error on their question, what they would do is, <coughs> I've marked questions before where the examiner made a mistake and then no one realized it in the exam. Then they will say, mark it correct if the student reached here. This means that if you just reached here and said undefined, you don't get full marks. I hope you get the point. Mm. Sir, so you should share the to my videos. You stop sharing the to my videos, otherwise mm, it's making me high, sir. So. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Go to the previous slide. Yeah, you are blue. Yes, here on your final answer, I'm not... Can you just write it down properly? I think I can't see clearly. Okay, so it is 2 to the power 1 plus or minus root of negative three root of negative three over negative two is equal to x. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the procedure is the yes, same as what Where has the whole number two come from now? For example, B. Yes, yes. Okay, so I don't need to confuse the two. This is example three here. When you go back to example B, we had log base two X is equal to something. This is the whole number that we raise to the power of this to obtain x. That's where the whole number two came from. It's coming from the base. Okay. okay. So another thing <coughs> that we should know is that there are times when you have There are times when you have a 
log and let me put it in uh, let me put it in this form if i have lean e we have said this is equal to one because lean is the same as log e and then we have an e inside so we get one now if i have y is equal to e to the power x i can choose to apply lean on both sides without changing anything this equation is the same as that equation there but for this one i know that logs allows me to drop the power so i'll drop the power and remain with it in e but this is one so this will mean that x is going to be lean y I may don't understand. So if we go back to the properties, we have a property, which property am I dealing with? Property number one. We've said that for logs, log E base A is the same as lean A. That's the first rule. The third rule, if I have log a b to the power x, it is the same as dropping x from being the power, you get x log a b. Like that. Now we are saying if we combine these two properties, we can actually, when I see lean E, I know I've seen log E, E. The log E is coming in in place of lean from property number one, that side. And if I have E, E, it now becomes one from property number 11. Now we are saying, if I have any equation that I have, for example, y is equal to f of x. It is allowed to apply anything for as long as I do it on the left and on the right at the same time. So I apply, for example, I apply lean y, then since y is equal to f of x, this should be the same as lean f of x. Now suppose f of x is e to the power x. We can still apply lean on both sides. So we have lean y is equal to lean e to the power x. But when you have the power, property number three allows us to drop the power. So we can drop the power. This can be lean y is equal to the power x can be dropped and then you get lean e. But what is lean e? Lean e is one because we are dealing with, when we say lean, we mean log e, as you can see here. So this will be the same as lean y is equal to x multiplied by one. This is just x is equal to lean y. Uh, sir, Hello. so y and f of x, is, is, they are different. They're the same. When there's an equal sign, we mean that the two things are equal. Just different in notation. 
So what am I trying to do here? I want you to understand when we solve this was example. This was example two. We are bringing example three. Solve for x a two x squared plus three multiplied by two x plus two is equal to zero. Solve for x. Now, if you look at two to the power x, the first two to the power x here, it is to the power two. And this guy is not to n power, it is to the power one. So this is a quadratic, but in case I can't see properly, I'll say, let a variable y be equal to two to the power x. If we substitute in this equation, we'll get y squared plus three y plus two is equal to zero. For sure, it's a quadratic with factors, with factors one and two. We factorize, we'll have y, y plus one plus two, y plus one is equal to zero. So we get y plus one y plus 2 is equal to 0. So we have y is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to negative 2. So you need to go back to what y is. So we have y is equal to 2x. So 2x is equal to negative 1 when y is negative 1. But you know this is not possible. You come back to the second, we are saying two to the power x is equal to negative two. Again, not possible. So we say, therefore, there is no value of x for which the equation is satisfied. Any questions? Sir? So mm -hmm. in the exam, they can actually give you a question that has no answer. Yes. That has no values of x, but it has a solution. So, Hello. Uh, why, why are those values not possible? So when we are doing the graphs for exponentials, we saw that once the base is positive, whatever power of x that you bring here, you never get a negative number. Because when x is positive, the numbers will be positives. When x is negative, the numbers will still be positive because this is the same as one over two to the power two. So there's nothing negative in the outcome. All right, so. So this was A, let's do B. 
b 3 to the power x All right, thank you. So we have 3 to the power 2x. Two 3x um, minus 4x uh, minus 4 Oh, minus four, three to the power x plus three is equal to zero. We have this equation here. If you go back to the exponential property number one, I was that property number one, property number. Um, I put that proper, I didn't put it. So let me put it as property number six. If we have a m n, this is the same as a m to the power n or a n to the power m. Exactly the same. So, this means that when I have 3 to the power 2x, I can write this as 3 to the power x in brackets squared. It means the same thing. Because you can multiply it x times 2, you get 2x. Minus 4 3 power x plus 3 is equal to 0. At this point, you can let p to be equal to 3 to the power x and the mute. You can let p to be equal to 3 to the power x. And then, where there is 3 power x, you put p squared minus 4p plus 3 is equal to 0. Is there a question? Okay. So, so then, most of them turn out to be quadratics. Yes, for most most of these equations turn out to be quadratics. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so when you let p to to be equal three x, uh, doesn't apply on the constant. Which constant? The constant attached yes. to the number. No, the, the, one, the one which is alone. No, it remains there. The square, is right. it? The square remains there, the four remains there, the three remains where it is. So it's just that piece which I've led to be P is what will be taken as P. Then, if you factorize here, what are the factors? The factors are negative, negative one, three. one and negative three. So what we'll have here is P, P minus one, minus three, P minus one, 
is equal to zero. So we we'll have p minus one multiplied by p minus three is equal to zero. So that we get p is equal to one or p is equal to three. But what is p? p is three to the power x. So when p is equal to one, three to the power x is equal to one. At this point, we are able, we are allowed to introduce log on both sides. So we are going to introduce a specific log because we are dealing with three here, we we'll introduce log three. We we'll introduce log three on both sides so that we can drop the x down. So we have x log three, three is equal to log three, one. Is there a question? Yeah. Okay. Sir. Uh, since it's three to the power x is equals to one, isn't it that any number that is equals to one is equals to the base to the power zero? So why aren't we automatically putting that x is zero? So you automatically put like that because you're able to remember, is it? Yes, but why are we going through this process of logs? In case I have forgotten. And in case the one is not one there, what if I have two? I must know the procedure. No. Mm -hmm. so, so in an instance where we had three X, it would be log, sorry, in an instance where we had four X, it would be log four to the power four X. Yes, it will be log four. Because we want to use the base, which is sitting there, so that on the left, you've seen that this is one now. Mm -hmm. So we have x is equal to log any base. Once there's one there, we get zero. So x is equal to zero. And then the, this three x is equal to one. So mm -hmm. it's we had two here and not one, and then our, our bases are different. <laughs> the base will be the same. Let's try another one. Look, what about 3x is equal to 3? Of course, here we know x is equal to 1, is it? But in case we don't know, maybe the silence means we don't know. In case you don't know, we because we have three here, we bring in log three. Three x is equal to log three, three. So that we get x log three, three is equal to log three, three is one. And log three, three here also is one. So we have x is equal to one. In case we had three X is equal to say seven, would have introduced log three. Say log three, three X is equal to log three, seven. And drop the X, remain with log three, three is equal to log three, seven. Log three three is equal to one. So we get X is equal to log three seven. So what about the previous example? Uh, so. Okay, just a minute. What do you mean what about the previous example? Now this one, remember, if you attempted that way, 
you wouldn't be wrong, but you would get to log two, two x is equal to negative one. I mean, is equal to is equal to log two negative one, which means that x is equal to log two negative one. But we made mention here where here property number eight, rule number eight. It is undefined when x is greater or equal to zero, meaning once I have negative log, my function is undefined. That's the reason why we said it's not possible for this setup. It's not possible because we have such a situation which is undefined. And then, sir, uh -huh. I think I didn't get something right. Uh, how do you know whether you are supposed to introduce the log or you just copy it direct by saying if it's 3x? It's equals to one, just say x is equals to three, the power and it's going to be x is equals to three. So in, in most cases, I just brought out this so that we are able to know in case what you have is in, of this form. So the direct ones, three x is equal to one, you can just say implying that x is equal to zero. For as long as you know, three to the power x is equal to three, implying that x is equal to one there's no harm but in case max it comes out lost. in no marks will be lost okay so if i have something like like three to the power x is equal to nine you can choose to solve this by writing nine. You say three to the power x is equal to three squared. And you say implying that x is equal to two. There'll be nothing wrong there. So that if you don't know that you can write nine as three to the power two, then you bring in log base three. Another example, C, 3, E. Sir, please, may you, uh, may you just repeat the other previous page? I haven't got any statement. Do you want this page so that you screenshot? Or you want this page for other reasons? No, I just wanted to screenshot. Thank you. So suppose we have three e to the power two x. Minus. Um, minus seven e power x plus two is equal to zero. So for x, so I would say the solution. We have three e x squared minus seven e x plus two is equal to zero. And let z be equal to e x. So we have three z squared minus seven z plus two is equal to zero. This would mean that 
we have three z squared minus z minus six z plus two is equal to zero giving us z three z minus one minus two Sir, where is the two where is the six come from again the factors of negative seven and positive six this is a quadratic is it <coughs> so the product is three times two yes, which is six so we have product six sum negative seven so what are the factors negative six and oh. negative nine. Uh -huh. so here have negative two and then three z minus one is equal to zero telling us that z minus two multiplied by three z minus one is equal to zero so that we get z is equal to two or z is equal to one over three let's go back to what z is z is e to the power x which is equal to two <coughs> so We can't use n logic here without introducing the log. Now, log base e is the same as lean. So I will introduce lean on both sides. And then the x will be dropped. It's equal to lean 2. This implies that x is equal to in two. Excuse me, my sir. Mm -hmm. uh, in two, is it the same as log two? Mm -mm. Proper number. Is it here? Property number one on logarithms. Log E is the same as lean. All right. So that's how you can use it in that form. When Z is one over three, we have E x is equal to 1 over 3. We can choose to write e x as 3 to the power negative 1 and then introduce lean. So we have lean e x is equal to lean 3 to the power negative 1. We drop x here, lean e we also drop negative one here, uh, and in three, implying that x is equal to negative lean three. But in case you don't know that you could take this up, you can as well write it as x is equal to lean 1 over 3. But it's nice to know. Those will be less confusions when you know. Okay, so, sir, excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, for in n number less than one uh, it is defined or it is also undefined it's defined for the one is greater than zero okay. 
So, 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 so you mean if it is less than zero, it's not defined. It's not defined. So I have a question. Uh -huh. Um, what if uh where we've got two, what if we had a negative value? Will it be undefined or it's going to be defined? It will be undefined. No, okay. Also, when you see just a negative book, it's okay to just write as a undefined and not solving anything. Mm, yes. Unless you have negative E, X is equal to negative 2. Because you know the negative can divide. You still remain with a positive. This still remains the fact, even if you had this is equal to negative two, it's still undefined. Don't even try to justify your solving by saying because there was power negative x. That power negative x is just telling us that this thing is one over e to the power x. So it can never give us negative two. Everything is positive here. So how, so where the negative come from? So, sir, uh, the, the the last one is undefined because it's a negative. It has a, the linear is a negative. Mm -hmm. what defined it? was the negative is not inside me. Or unless if it was inside. If it was inside, undefined. Now it's not inside. It's outside. Okay, uh, give another example which is going to be undefined. Maybe I might understand. So how can then the undefined thing travels? Suppose you have seven x plus 2 plus 2 7 x plus 1 is equal to 0. Ah, not plus two here. It won't make sense, eh? I meant power two. Power two. So here it would go direct. We'll say let y be equal to seven power x so that we have y squared plus two y plus one is zero. So we have y squared plus y plus y plus one is zero. So we get y plus one plus one y plus one is zero. So y is equal to negative one and the other y is negative one meaning that 7 to the power x is equal to negative 1 and defined. So no such values. So there There are no 
such values of x. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ah. Yes. Yes. Now, for the question that I've seen from the past exam paper, which asks to find um, the loop two, let me see. The question is given that loop two, three is uh, 1.585. Loop two, three. Equals one point five eight. One point five x. No, one point five eight five. Sorry. One twenty five. One point five eight five. One point five eight five. One point five. Eight, five, and log two seven equals. What are we solving for? Here? We're solving for log two thirty six. The question says find log two thirty six. Find log two thirty six. Find log two thirty six. Yes, and lean 49 over lean 16. That is still on the find? Yes, it's question. It's a question with uh, two sub-questions. Oh, so one is find, find log 236 given that log 23 is equal to 1.585. Yes, and log two seven is two point eight zero seven four. And log two seven equals is equal two point eight zero two point eight zero seven four. And then you must find log two thirty six. Yes, and lean 49 over lean 16. And lean 49 over lean 16. Okay. Hey. It looks so quiet. I don't know how to do it. It's on the past exam paper. Is this in our syllabus? <laughs> <laughs> It, it has to be the syllabus because he's talking about logs and reading. <laughs> What's he saying? How come I can't do the message? Undefined. Uh -uh. It's defined except that in just how to. Manipulate the decimals. So you need, so you need to change the decimals to some fractions. Yeah. Now three power. What for you to get eighty six? Okay. Anyway, though it would look like. For example, the first one, log two three, is equal to that is one five eight five over over one thousand.
you can try to reduce this with some numbers. Two, three is equal to, say we divide by five. Five can go in the top number, how many times? In 15, it goes three times. Mm -mm. In, in one, five, eight, five. So it goes eight. three, three seventy. Yeah. And then in the down number. Two hundred. It goes two hundred. And it looks like nothing else can go. <laughs> Nothing else can go in both of these two numbers. So, if you cross multiply, we'll have, we'll have 200, uh, log 2, 3 is equal to 317. And then this is the same as saying log two, three to the power 200 is equal to 317. Okay, so I think it can be a long one. Or maybe there's a shortcut, which I don't know it. I'll look at it and comment if I'll be able to comment. If I want to be, you will yeah. never hear me talk about it. No, sir, you have to. But why do I do it? love me. Oh, no, you just yes, have to. What if it comes in exam? <laughs> <laughs> it's not in our syllabus. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find the one. In... I'll find the comment to make. Don't worry. Oh, why why were we even cross multiplying you? Oh, we've stopped solving this one, eh? Yeah. So I just wanted to see if we could get some power that could make that three to be thirty-six. And then um whatever remains simplifies the three seventeen. But it looks like for now I can't see beyond this. I'll think about this. Sir. <laughs> Hello. For for the two log two seven, what of squaring both sides of it? Will that work? Or is that possible? But if you square, the log will be squeezed inside the square. And so we have issues getting it out of the square. Um, sir, which year was this paper? Oh, <laughs> I see. Ah. Okay, I see your point. So you mean if getting it to this? Yes, I meant squaring both sides so that the 7 can turn into the 49. Into the 49. And then the, the 2. Now that's, that's lean. So it all borders on how you play around with this number here. So it's possible to play around with the, this number it can give us some numbers that when you try to cross multiply, they'll go back, they'll go to seven as a square, and then you change the base from log to from from two to e, and then it will facilitate that the seven becomes 49. And then the 16 will come from affecting two. In whichever manner the two can be affected. So it can easily come out. I say I'm having clues. At first, I, I, I look at it alone so that I'm able to explain it <laughs> for you to understand. 
So I need to share the tape with me. So I will. So there's another one which says express uh, log three five plus five log three two minus log three. three so what? Log three. Base. What's the best? Uh, the best is uh, log three five uh -huh. plus five plus plus five log three two. Uh -huh. Minus three log three three express as a single logarithm. So you've seen that we have the same base. So first thing we do is group the like them. We take this here as a power. So we have log three five plus a log. 3 2 to the power 5 minus log 3 3 to the power 3. So we've taken everything as a power so that we have the same base and when this, the bases are the same and you are adding it becomes the product. So we have log 3 5 multiplied by 2 to the power 5 the minus we divide three power three. So you simplify these numbers if it's possible. So two to the power five, that is 32. And then a two by five. So you get that over three, three, that is 27. It's a single log. So all the expansions, simplifications will be based on, on this page. This page is very, very important. So when there's a plus, you multiply. When there's a minus, you divide. So any constants attached, you take them as powers using property three. Okay, so we'll end here. So that I look for some more equations and then uh, we'll talk about the graphing part, the one that, the one that didn't finish, uh, which is based on the logs, where we are switching to exponential and then we sketch. And then maybe the first statement will go on that. And then the other time we'll, we'll do some equations. And then we'll be done with logarithms. Yeah. So don't miss the next session, which is tomorrow on Monday. At 18 hours, if you miss, you would have missed the remaining part of logs. The time you join, we'll be looking at a different topic. Hello. So you should share some of the Thomas videos, starting from the same exponential shine so that the act can be a zone as well. So are you coming for your question? No. Why? Um <laughs> 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 Hmm. Zakai, nice as a tea, and I say, hmm.